And a good Saturday afternoon to you, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, and 802 Honda. They're all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Looking at the bigger picture here, this is uh, African dust. You can see a little bit coming in off the coast of uh, West Africa from the Sahara. And uh, not as much, a little bit of dust indicated here, but we can also see that uh, there's been some thunderstorm growth in some portions where there's a some of the easterly waves uh, working westward uh, in the uh, Caribbean or north of the Caribbean basin. And uh, this is the uh, latest picture here. Right now, this is how the country looks. Not a whole lot going on, just one major storm. This is what's going to be arriving uh, during uh, Sunday night and into Monday morning in a weakening state and mostly just affecting the northern portions of the state. And this is the big picture here. We can see the uh, kind of an upper level trough in parts of western Canada the trough in the northern tier U.S., but kind of a zonal flow, a west to east flow is going to continue, and that higher jet stream wind is going to interact on Wednesday, especially producing some, potentially some uh, locally severe thunderstorms in our neck of the woods. This is a longer range of look. Uh, a lot of details have yet to be cleared out on that. Temperature-wise, it is very hot, and it's also very, very humid. You can see dew point temperatures basically uh, in the 70s here, and this is what's going to be shooting up and kind of arcing over that ridge of higher pressure out ahead of this weather system. Again, that's the one that works in for basically Sunday night into Monday morning. It doesn't look like it's going to be a big impact for Vermont and generally benign thunderstorms embedded within rain showers and mostly along the northern tier regions. That'll happen Sunday night into Monday morning. Looking at the European model, the incrementals here every three hours. This is uh, this afternoon. We're not looking at any precipitation forecast for today or Sunday. That's the good news. Two good weather project days. Of course, very high heat indices. This is going to be the case, especially on uh, Sunday afternoon, carry over into Sunday night. Very oppressive conditions. And uh, this is the weather system that is going to touch off some thunderstorms. Kind of a classic look right there. And it does make it into the northern tier regions uh, during the overnight period uh, in early in the morning hours on Monday. And then that kind of just dissipates out a little secondary flare up in far southern Vermont. But most of the heavy action is going to be uh, exiting out of the state. So no issues there. Then we get into Tuesday with a drier day. Nice area of ridge of higher pressure or uh, center of higher pressure pushing in uh, from the Great Lakes region. That'll bring us a decent Tuesday. Then we got Wednesday and that's another system we'll take a look at here. And then we get uh, Wednesday here. You can see a little bit of a last part of a ridge of higher pressure pushes on out of the region. And we start to opening the door for uh, much more humidity. And uh, temperatures really don't warm up that much, but there is some indications of some better organized, uh, possibly a warm front that works through parts of uh, mostly central and southern parts of Vermont. That'll happen on Wednesday afternoon and evening. It looks like that carries over a little bit into the evening hours. And then by Thursday, uh, just maybe some widely scattered late day pop-up shower and thunderstorm activity coming in out of the St. Lawrence River Valley affecting uh, mainly the uh, Champlain Valley. And then we can see uh, an area of higher pressure build in for what should be some nice weather to end the work week next week on Friday and that looks like it lingers into Saturday beyond the period. GFS and Canadian Ensemble centered on Montpelier, Vermont. This is what it looks like. So we have dry days uh, this weekend. This is the system that's going to be coming in uh, after 0Z uh, that would be uh, Sunday night and into the early morning hours on Monday. Then that clears on out. We get improving conditions the last part of Monday. And then uh, dry weather for Tuesday. And you can see that we're back into it on Wednesday and possibly into Thursday of next week. Convective available potential energy. Uh, the strongest day looks like on the 23rd. And this coming Wednesday. And that's when also there could be some stronger shear. Let's overlay that. You got uh, 30 to 40 knots of shear uh, during the part when we're not going to see any weather. But when we do have thunderstorms, especially when we get on Wednesday, that could be an issue there. And uh, supporting some strong to locally severe storms in our neck of the woods. Right now, details are fussy. And this is the total QPF amount expected, the uh, Canadian and GFS ensemble. You can see that not a whole lot going on uh, for basically Sunday night into Monday. This is centered on Montpelier. Most of the heavier action is going to be probably to the north of the Barry montpelier area along the northern tier region. That's the area we'll see probably benign thunderstorms, but some locally heavy downpours. And then not a whole lot going on until once we get into that period for the middle part of the uh, week next week. 
and uh, some pretty decent amounts of precipitation uh, for two days indicated here with the GFS Canadian Ensemble. And Weather Prediction Center looking at the country as a whole dry in the west. Some uh, monsoon moisture gets into Arizona, New Mexico and some of the uh, southern uh, Rockies, central Rockies and a lot of that then works its way. Um, the direct uh, moisture we get is going to be coming up through Mexico and then arcing around that ridge of higher pressure getting into the jet stream which is more or less zonal and we're looking at anywhere from around 1 inch to 1.5 inches in the general area uh, not quite as much uh, eastern parts of New England a little bit more toward western portions of uh, once we get into New York. Two meter temperatures uh, this is uh, centered again on Montpelier Vermont this is the warmest day 90 degrees on Sunday then a step ladder down just a little bit warmer than what we're going to see today Saturday this is Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and so forth looking at the dew point temperatures kind of see a bit of a build up here uh, through Sunday and then a drop off with that moisture that we see and a potential of uh, cooling off and lowering the dew point temperatures this is in pretty good agreement with the European model and then uh, that uptick in the dew point temperatures back into that 60 to 65 degree mode once we get into uh, the middle part of next week supporting some shower and thunderstorm activity. This is meteorological output statistics moss uh, guidance for the maximum next five days then uh, three days later we're looking at above about three degrees above normal and then three days later very similar conditions you would expect this to be a little bit more but after all Sunday is really just a spike and then we cool it off a little bit. Anomalous temperature is looking at the northern hemisphere pretty cold in areas where it had been very very warm along the Siberian areas there in Eastern Asia and then also a little bit into Alaska warm across um, the Canadian archipelago um, not so much across Greenland but uh, kind of hodgepodge and really nothing to see here at this time. That's it from here Roger Hill Weathering Heights thanks for watching.